Welcome to part seven of this Luminar 4 training series that I'm sharing with you here on my channel, courtesy of Luminar, that let me reshare this stuff. In this one, we're gonna take a look at tools such as creating parallels in your photos and the crop tool as well. It's really important if you shoot a lot of architecture and things like that to get this stuff right. And the tools are all there in Luminar 4, so let's take a look at how to use them. If you don't have Luminar 4 yet and you wanna get a copy, there's a link below and a discount code that you're more than welcome to use, which is at Sky10. Let's get into it. Cropping your photos in post-production allows you the creative freedom to fine tune or redefine your composition in a new and creative way. Or perhaps your composition suffers from lines that should be parallel, that converge or diverge. Well, Luminar 4 has the tools within it to fix all of these issues, and in this video, that's what we're gonna take a look at. So one of the number one genres of photography that suffers from converging lines is architecture. So in this video, we're gonna look at a couple of architectural photos that I've taken that during the time of capture, due to my perspective, I wasn't able to have perfectly parallel lines. Now, if you've got the bank balance to afford a tilt shift lens, you can fix this in your camera. Thankfully, Luminar 4 offers several tools within it that allows you to solve these problems without having to invest in a bank balance busting lens. So let's take a look at how they work. Okay, let's start with this image here and let's pop into the edit tab. We wanna be in the canvas section, so you wanna click on this icon here. And from here, we're gonna look at correcting the perspective. So on my tripod here, I've photographed this beautiful home, but to get the composition that I wanted, I've actually had to tilt the camera up and that has unfortunately created these converging lines. And architects particularly are really specific about making sure that lines that are supposed to be parallel are parallel. So let's see what we can do to fix it. Come into the lens and geometry tab here and I would recommend turning on auto distortion corrections. And what happened there was Luminar 4 has analyzed the lens that was on my camera and corrected for any distortion that that lens introduces at that particular focal length, which is pretty clever stuff. We can also click remove chromatic aberrations and that will get rid of any of that cyan or magenta edging that you sometimes see. We can also click defringe, which also helps with that sort of thing. From here, we're not gonna move lens distortion, which you can do manually, but because we've already checked that box there, we're happy with what Luminar has done. You can also correct for vignetting and play with those there. So that's just the darkening of the edges or the brightening of the edges. Personally, I'm just gonna leave that alone in this example. The most important slider that we're gonna look at here is the vertical slider. As I grab this and start to move it, you will see that the actual perspective of the photograph is altering. So what we want to do is actually move that to a point where we feel that the lines are now parallel, which they are. Luminar applies a really handy grid over the top so that we can double check that our lines are nice and straight. Horizontal and rotation don't really apply in this instance. So the only other thing I'll need to do is you'll see that as I've rotated this to minus 17, we've introduced some gray underneath here, which is basically, you'll see, as I tilt the photograph, it's the canvas outside the photograph which is becoming visible, which we really don't want to see in our photo. So a couple of ways we can deal with that is either to scale the photograph, which allows us to zoom in, but I don't want to do that here, so I'll double click to reset that. What I want to do is use the Y offset. So if you think back to school time, you had the X and Y axis, the Y was the up and down. So if we grab the Y offset, as you can see, we can slide the image up and down. So what we want to do is just have that grass just touching at the bottom there. We've still got all the sky. I would be happy to send this through to an architect. So let's look at our before. Let's look at our after. You can see a big improvement in terms of the perspective correction. Sure, I've done a couple of little other things within Luminar, but the main thing we're looking at here is that perspective correction. Let's move on to another example which isn't quite so straightforward. 
I really hope you're enjoying this video and in particular the series on Luminar 4 editing. If photo editing is your bag as well, like it is mine, I'm so passionate about it, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel? I'd love to have you along for the ride. Every single subscriber I get, I'm just so grateful for that. And if you feel like leaving me a comment as well while we're in lockdown at the moment, um, be my online friend. Leave me a little comment, I'd love it. <laughs> Cheers, guys. This shot here shows part of the interior of that same home. Now, due to circumstances, and this may happen to you too, you don't have time to frame up your shot perfectly. You don't have time to set a tripod up perfectly, which means that sometimes your perspective, your horizon line, things like that aren't going to be perfect. So that's when we come into this section, canvas and lens and geometry, and we actually fix that stuff up. So let's see what we can do. Let's tick these boxes again. That's a nice start. What's next? Well, we're converging on the vertical axes and also the horizontal. So by using these sliders, we're gonna to try to correct this as best we can. First of all, we'll start with the vertical slider and we'll get that about as close as we can get it. And we can always jump back to these sliders if we feel things aren't correct. So as you can see, our lines are now parallel, however, they're slightly wonky. So let's go to the rotate slider and rotate the photograph until we feel like those lines are now straight. And that's that's pretty good. So the next thing we've got an issue with is that the horizontal lines are not parallel. And just see if we can't fix that. Now I'm gonna go somewhere around that eight point there. And now I'm gonna start to rotate the image a little bit again because I feel like we're not quite there with that. Let's rotate that to around that minus 19, minus 20 mark and say that's pretty good. Now, if we look at the photograph before we started, you can see that at the top, they've got this lovely little alcove area that's lit with LED strip lighting and the architect would really like to see that. But unfortunately, due to our manipulations with the perspective, we don't get to see it in our adjusted version. So what we're gonna do is come down to the Y offset, grab that, and actually start to move that and as you see we move it down and now we can once again see that section up here on the photo so i think the last thing we need to do is take care of these edges where we can now see the canvas around the edge of the photo so what we can do is scale the image so we're zooming in that has helped to some degree the next thing we'll do is look at cropping the image so let's come to our crop tool click crop and rotate and that will bring you into this area here now you can grab the handles and move these around and that will give you a nice preview of how your image is going to be cropped so basically what we want to do is crop the image so that we're losing this gray area here so let's at least bring this point up here and that's sorted the bottom out now let's bring the left handle here and drag that in now previously we used the Y offset to make sure we didn't lose the top part of the photograph. So we certainly don't want to now lose it through the crop. So what we can do is click and drag and just bring the crop up slightly because I really want to include that in the image. I'm gonna bring it all the way up because the furniture itself is not important to this particular image. It's more about the architecture. So we can just come over to done, click that, the crop is applied and we have our much improved photo of this awesome interior. Let's look at our before and our after. Thanks so much for watching the video guys. In the next one, part eight, we were talking all about removing unwanted objects using things like the clone tool and that within Luminar 4. It's gonna be a good one. I actually removed my wife from one photograph. So if that's something that's of interest to you, um, join me in that video. <laughs> Man, she's gonna kill me if she sees this. Go to that next video and see if I survive. <laughs>